Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Sarge here and welcome back to the New York Liberty Rebuild. Our second episode here where we are going to be jumping into a game against the Indiana Fever. As you see, we, we last episode we went through some stuff. We got to trade Rebecca Allen and we got to get three or more wins this year or two of our tasks. Uh, I don't know if we're going to trade Rebecca Allen right away, but maybe like down here in June... You know, somewhere it may be July, we work we work out a trade deal. Also realize throughout the schedule, there's no rest days. It's all training. Kind of crazy. But we're going to hop in. Um, if you didn't see... Uh... Oh, wait. We have to adjust the rosters. Let's adjust them. The center minutes up a little. And the rest of this seems okay. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So that's going to be our rotation. And now we're going to hop into the first game against the Indiana Fever. Looks like we're going to probably have to deal with Kelsey Mitchell and McCowan. But let's see how it goes. Opening things up in the Barkley Center. No good to have you with us. And just as a reminder, we're playing on custom settings that are pretty difficult, and we are playing on real player percentage for shooting, on free throws and jump shots. So I'm not in control of any of that. That is just if they want to make it, they make it, and if they don't, they don't. Natasha Howard with good defense, but a wide open three point attempt is gonna land first basket of the game. Here comes Sabrina Ionesco to lead the offense. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb. Ionescu outside. And we're in some trouble. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Howard. We dump it off to Howard. Howard makes the layup. Successful. And I do know that her contract is up at the end of this year. Oh, what a quick shot by Mitchell right there. Negotiating with her come the end of the season, the pass is picked off. As Ionesco was looking for Howard. Now here's Robinson. Defense right on her. Oh, and Ionesco gets it right back. She finds Whitcomb for three. Count it! And Howard with the steal. Sabrina drives in, loses it, gets stripped away by Robinson. A lot of ball movement here as they're trying to set up the offense. Ionesco fights through a screen. The spin move by Robinson. Good defense, though. We're there for it. The rebound to Ionesco. And it seems like that's a mismatch down there on Howard. Let's see if we can exploit it. And we can. As Mitchell, one move. Whitcomb tried to stay with, did so successfully. Here's Laney in transition. Going to try and get around and gets fouled. All right, so Laney at the line. Second round pick from Rutgers. 88% on the free throw. Those are mostly going to be knockdowns for her. That's good to see. Beautiful. So that's he closes out. Mitchell gets a three up, can't get it to fall. Howard fighting for the rebound. Breland gets it and makes the layup. Got a box out better than that. And there's a reaching foul by Robinson. Look for Laney coming off a pair of screens. Can't get anything to go there. And we're going to put the post up on. The fadeaway jumper rattles in and out. Ali Mond, I saw earlier as we were in the waiting screen that she finished second in the league in assists last year as Mitchell greens a three with Durr's hand right in her face. Oh, and that is not who we wanted, but stayed with it. Lavender on Gray. Fake the spin, put up the tough layup, can't get it to fall. And 
for all she's already accomplished, McCowan's just getting started. Now here's Han on Mitchell. This is not what we want. We can get Durr to switch out, but they're quickly going to address that. We're going to bring the double if we can. It's not going to be enough. McCowan, too quick to exploit. We've got another double screen set up for Laney. That's going to be a decent one. We're going to pull that three. Laney can't get it to fall. Tried to chase for the whole rebound. Couldn't get it. Oh, and another leak out corner three. They can't get that one to fall, but there's Lavender on the boards. Another offensive rebound. We got to work on it. And it's important to, to see through these first couple games what we might need help with because we do have to trade Rebecca Allen. That is part of one of our tasks here. So maybe we can get a piece or two that can help us be better off in some of these situations. Looks like we got an interesting double screen look here. They leave Ionesco in the corner. Sabrina's going to knock that down. McCowan gets poked away by Durr, but he's out of bounds. We have Jones in now. It seems like a full bench unit. There's Allen. We're going to pass it up to Durr. Durr's going to blow by, but get blocked. And here's Vivian's. Vivian's is going to pull as she moves in. Can't get it to fall. Han, the only starter on the floor, gets the rebound. Here's Durr in transition again. She can't get the edge. And we're going to just back it up here. And we're going to get a size mismatch here, but she gets ripped as she goes up with it. Can't, she recovers it. No energy, can't get it up. She gets her own rebound. She can't get the follow. A lot of good from Han on that possession, though. 23 years old. A lot of potential. Jones at the end of the sh out of the end of the quarter knocks it down. I thought it was end of the shot clock, but that wouldn't have made sense. So as that shot gets knocked down at the end of the first quarter, the Indiana Fever have a four-point lead heading into the second quarter. Looks like we're going to be trying to get Howard open. She is open. We're pulling the three-pointer. That's going to get knocked down. Natasha Howard stepping out. Going to get the screen. Not the best one we've ever seen, but it seems like we forced the mismatch here. As Gray with the pass is picked off by Allen. Vivian's drives. Couple crossovers. Can't get free. Whitcomb the rebound. Whitcomb a little behind the back. going to find Gray streaking down the middle. Good cut by Gray. Allen screen set up. Not going to go. We're going to have to give it to Howard. Howard's going to do a little shimmy post fade away. Another one rattles in and out for Natasha. Jones now on Aliman. Her fader isn't going to fall. Jones the rebound. Now Jones running it up court. There's Gray again on a nice cut. The layup's not going to go. Gets her own rebound, though. Got him jumping. Got to get out of the paint, though. You know what? Some would say that's on me. We need the screen. Jasmine Jones going to drive. Find Gray. Passes tipped. And shot clock violation. And she's going to pull it. It's not going to go. Ionesco in transition. Gonna find Whitcomb in the middle and one layup. And 96% shooter from the line. Ionesco on Robinson. Howard jumps the passing lane. She's gonna pick it off. She's gonna have Laney down the middle. I'll be completely honest, I saw Ionesco float to the corner, that's where I wanted the pass to go. But instead, Laney streaking in, a good layup. Liberty up six, Fever with another timeout. Mitchell blows by Laney, Laney on McGowan, good help, but that's gonna go in. I need that screen now. Gave a little space. The mid-range isn't going to fall, though. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Robinson bringing it up in transition. Um, we're going to get lost. Mitchell's going to get open for three, and that's good as gold. Can't leave her that open. On the screen. Ionesco's going to get through. Reverse layup. Can't get it to go. Good effort. 
Good play call, just not enough. Mitchell again with the moves, gonna get open and sink it, and just like that, the Fever have the lead. Mitchell with 13, everybody else on the team with eight. Gotta do something to neutralize her efforts this game. Ionesco gets open on that little play, but she can't get the mid-range to fall. It's again Mitchell. Mitchell finds Mitchell, and a green three! And the Liberty with their first timeout. What a run. The Fever just went on a 10-point swing. Going to find Howard. Howard the mid-range. That's going to fall. Duran now. As they're going to find Mitchell on the cut. Can't get it to fall. Howard with the good help defense down low. Here comes Laney. Not with much speed. How? Howard can't get it to fall. Mitchell again. Sizing up. Howard, good defense. Can't do enough for Breland, though. Breland gets it in. And again, we're going for Howard here. Sets up. Three ball. Catch and shoot. Can't get it to fall. Trying to feed Howard. Clearly one of our better scorers. Mitchell and Laney. And the foul. We have a charge! Natasha Howard takes the charge. What a great play. And Ionesco coming off of the double screen. She's trying to fight. She gets a screen. Howard with the help. Gets a body on it and is enough to affect the shot. Durr's going to put it up, but not in time. And it rattles out anyway. Wouldn't have counted had it gone in. But the Indiana Fever up two at halftime. And do coming out of the halftime break. We're going to get Laney open for a three as Ionesco crossed over. Robinson going to now drive the lane. Howard with good help. Howard on McCowan gets the stop and the rebound. Up to Laney. Can Laney be the one to lead after coming out of the break? The little fadeaway turnaround gets it to go. It's more of a leaner, actually. More of a leaner, not a fader. It's Mitchell. Han with the good play. Ionesco with the steal. She picks it up. But couldn't get the shot up. There's a mismatch somewhere. It's on Han. We're going to rotate it around. It gets to her. And Han, with the point guard Robinson, gets ripped away, and it's the Fever's ball. What a play by Robinson. Mitchell's going to drive, dance around a minute, and we're going to get called for the reach in. Howard now, hands up defense, gets the steal. We're going to find Laney in transition. Can she hit the three? She cannot. Howard can't get the rebound. Good hustle to get down there and just try to make a play on it. Mitchell with the ball, been a problem all day. Oh, good find, Mitchell to Mitchell. Couldn't get it to fall, and McCowan, you saw it at the end there, a little shove on Whitcomb down low. And all that passing ends up with a steal. Rebecca Allen now playing some defense. Whitcomb down low, can't get it over... Whitcomb down low, making the rebound. Playing good defense. There's Allen on the drive. She gets it to fall through the contact. If she can help us chalk up a couple wins early, that'd be great as Mitchell on the drive gets it to fall as... Oh, a great screen from Howard as Sabrina gets inside and the foul. Sabrina from the line is 86%. That's good as gold as well. Whitcomb leaves Allen. Three-pointer up. Not good. We got to close out. Jones gets there, but too late as Vivian is somebody to help this rebounding. When the trade talks come around. As Sabrina Ionesco gets to the line yet again. Getting inside and finding... Some contact. The first overall pick in the 2020 draft. 
Fights through the screen. Durr with the steal. Gonna find Sabrina on the drive. Gonna find Jones driving, and that layup's good. Gotta switch on to McCowan. Vivian's on Durr. Gonna put it up, and that is gonna fall right in. Gray with it. They're gonna set up a screen for Durr. Durr's gonna pull the three off the first screen. It's not gonna go. Sabrina trying to get in front, can't do so. But good defense down low stops the drive as well. Good hands from Rebecca Allen. Finds Asia Durr. Durr's gonna find Jones. Jones with the layup. Allen on Vivians. Vivians again where she hit it on the other side. She hits it on this one as well. She's taking a rest. We're gonna find Allen. Allen's gonna pull the three coming off the double screen. Great setup. Vivians going again from the side. Absolutely thriving in that spot. Allen with it. Backing down. Spin move. Can't get it going. Now fade away, mid-range, can't get it over Robinson. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Victoria Vivians for three. Hot as could be, can't get it to fall. Durr with the rebound. Here comes Durr in transition, a little behind the back. Can't get anything out of that. Absolutely, Brian. You gotta go right back to that shot. On the wing, Rebecca Allen. Find Allen, nothing doing. Gotta dump it down to Laney. Laney on the leaner, can't get it. Almost got her own rebound though. Lavender secures as we head to the fourth quarter up six. We secure the rebound. Whitcomb fakes the shot. Natasha Howard gets deed up well though by Breland. And locks up Breland. Laney on Mitchell. On the drive. Mitchell, shot clock violation. Can't get it up in time. Sabrina with a nice little double move as she sets up Natasha. Howard gets the layup to fall. Hot on Lavender. Dumps it down to McGowan. That's going to fall. Sammy Whitcomb on the drive gets blocked. Can she get the rebound? She can't. She ends up fouling with a reach in. Trying to take her inside. Can't do it. Laney on Mitchell here. The mid range is up. The mid range is missed, but McCowan cleans it up, and the layup is good. Another. Another offensive rebound leading to a bucket. Been a steal in transition. In fact, doesn't work out that way. Now some good defense needs to be played. Hard screen is set. Mitchell steps back. She hits the three. Oh, it's actually a two. Didn't get all the way behind. Looks like here's the screen from Han. Not as powerful as you'd like it. Whitcomb goes in. Good layup chance. Can't get it to fall. A good hard screen. Howard with the reach in. Han with the switch. Much taller. Gets the stop. Ionesco, transition, gonna cut to the outside. Goes for the layup, gets it to fall. Sabrina Ionesco with 12 points. Laney tried to jump the passing lane, couldn't get the ball. On the drive, Han goes down. Laney with good defense and the rebound. Guarding two at once. Finds Ionesco in transition. The layup can't get it to fall. Sabrina realizes that she has a chance to play defense. Tries to. Mitchell, corner, three ball, count it. Good, one point game. The games are always intense around here. Ionesco on the drive, another great screen from Howard. Lays it in. Oh, we have the glitch in the system where somebody doesn't play, but it doesn't matter. They walk in and get the layup anyway. Try to find Laney. Coming off the screen, can't get it. Whitcomb gets left open for three. She can't hit it. Laney gets pushed out of the way. They don't call anything. Howard on Breland. Mitchell. Oh, big three. She hits it. Fever up two. 14 to four run, as you see. 
we're going to call the same play. It's worked prior. Howard just throws it up. Reckless ends up getting it up again. Can't get it to fall, though. Who's guarding who? It doesn't matter. Mitchell's unstoppable. On the screen from Sabrina. Han has to put it up with two seconds. Can't get it to fall. Howard with the foul immediately. And it's looking like the Liberty have choked this game away. Sabrina trying to stay with. Oh, no foul yet. They say they don't want it. Sabrina, tight defense. Everybody tight as could be right now. McCowan gets it in the paint. Down low, Han. Good defense. Here we go. In transition, we find Laney. Laney's going to have a clear lane. Can she make it? No, she can't. Natasha Howard gets the rebound. They kick it out. We don't have a lot of time. We need points. Sabrina Ionesco gets blocked on the way to the rim. And they call a foul on Whitcomb. And that's probably going to seal it for the New York Liberty. We call a timeout. We are down six points. We need two threes. It's essential. We find Whitcomb. We find Han. Nobody wants it. Han puts it up. Howard the rebound. Kick out Laney. Laney, big deep three. Gets it to fall at the buzzer. Indiana Fever leave the Barclays Center with a three-point victory. Kelsey Mitchell did all she could to put this game on ice. We see Ionesco with 14. Laney ended up with 12 after that last three-pointer. Howard with nine, but went four for 12. Whitcomb two for seven. We shot poorly down the stretch. Han didn't have anything in four shots, and Durr didn't have anything in her two shots. And if we look here, it was all Kelsey Mitchell. 20 points, eight for 12 shooting, hit four of five threes. McCowan had a double-double. When you get contributions like that, it's all you really need. Only person who really seemed to struggle was Tiffany Mitchell. But, hey, now we move on and we head to our next game, which is also against the Indiana Fever. We are going to sim ahead here as we take a look at who's where. There's the standings. The Lynx and the Liberty, both with losses. But next episode, we will be back. We will be rematching the Indiana Fever to see if we can avenge this heartbreaking loss. We are hopefully going to take one on their home floor after they took one on ours. But until then, appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.